Hi everyone, my name is Lisa Ann Wrigley. I go to the University of Florida and I'm a part of the College Academy class of 2017. Going to CA was the best thing that I ever did, but I didn't always feel that way. About four years ago, around this time, I was sitting right over there with my mom who literally had to drag me to this orientation. I loved my life at university school. I had friends, was in clubs, taking APs, and didn't see any reason to leave and start at a brand new school where I didn't even know anyone. But my mom was not playing about these free college courses, and I am so happy that I ended up going. And here's why. When I came to CA, I instantly made friends with like-minded individuals who I know are going to be my friends forever. Some of them with me here at UF, some at Harvard and Columbia. We took lots of classes together, and after earning a 4.0 in my first semester, I was so motivated and excited for the future, I planned the next four years of my life right then and there. I wanted to graduate college in only two years, go to med school, and travel the whole world. Sounds a little too ambitious, right? I know, I had countless people tell me that it was impossible, but I never let that stop me. I worked hard at CA and graduated with almost 80 college credits, and UF accepted every single one of them. I came to UF right after graduation and took an accelerated six-week organic chemistry summer course. When I got here, every advisor told me that it was impossible to pass this class coming in as a freshman. But having already done two years of college courses at CA, I knew that I was prepared and took it anyways. I ended up passing as number one in the class, and because of that, got a position in that same professor's research laboratory studying polymers and biodegradable plastics. I've always loved to travel, so in the fall semester, I looked into study abroad programs that UF offers. I wasn't familiar with Asian cultures at all and wanted to learn as much about the world as I could. So, just six short months after my high school graduation, I packed up my life and moved to Singapore for five months. Study abroad at the National University of Singapore was so rewarding. Not only did I have the opportunity to learn at one of the top 20 schools in the entire world, but I also got to grow as an individual and become a more informed world citizen. Also, I got to travel all around Southeast Asia with my new friends from all over the world. I got back from study abroad and came straight to UF for the summer A term to take one chemistry class, study for my MCAT for medical school, and do an internship at a disability resource center for my minor. By now, I'd already had over a thousand hours of clinical experience, done all my pre-med courses, finished my MCAT, and had a 3.8 GPA. However, I still didn't feel like I had enough experiences to make myself into someone worthy enough to be a doctor. I was missing good leadership and teaching abilities. So, after lots of research on Google, I found a program called IVHQ that could help me with all of that. For the entire month of July, I worked in Zambia teaching 4th and 5th graders at a community school. I got to travel to other Southern African countries on the weekends, and even got to scrub in on a tracheotomy and cesarean delivery at the hospital in Livingstone. Traveling for 8 months forced me to mature so much. I got back to fall semester with a whole new outlook on the world and ready to take on anything. Now, I'm continuing to grow in my leadership and teaching abilities by serving as a youth group leader at my church here at UF. At 19 years old, I've recently submitted my application to med school, and I'm about to start my last full semester of undergrad. I'm taking one lab over the summer, and then I graduate in August with a degree in chemistry and a minor in health disparities in society after just two years here at the University of Florida. If 15-year-old me pouting in that corner over there could see me today, I don't think that she'd even believe it. Sometimes, looking at this wall of my photos from all over the world, I still don't even believe it. God has blessed me so much, and it's so that I can share this testimony with all of you and give you hope for what you can accomplish in your own futures. With faith and hard work, you can accomplish anything you put your mind to. Coming to College Academy unlocks the door to every possibility, but it's up to you to open them. Oh, and the biggest lesson that I've learned all these years is that the only people who tell you that something is impossible are the ones who couldn't do it themselves, or never even tried. When you come to CA, the sky is the limit, and you won't have to figure things out on your own either. I just want to say a huge thank you to Dr. Jody Weinstein, Dr. Stacy Benjamin, Principal Davey, Mrs. Engstrom, Mr. Aiken, Ms. Williams, Mr. O'Neill, and of course, my beautiful, loving parents who are there in the stands today. Without their guidance and encouragement, I wouldn't be where I am right now. 
The teachers and faculty's number one priority is to help you reach your goals. And if you have any questions making a plan, you guys can always reach out to me on social media or by email. I hope this got you all super excited for your own future. Thanks for watching and good luck getting accepted to College Academy.